Good morning, this is Ryan from uh, AFT Construction. I'm a superintendent for AFT. Uh, we're out here at SM Gilbert Traditional and we're gonna talk Matterport this morning. Uh, I'm over here with Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy does all of our Matterport scans and the reason why AFT does it pretty much as a standard is because we want to make sure we capture everything at the framing stage so we can see all of our electrical, plumbing, you know, anything that's left out, um, anything that we left in the walls that we might be cutting in later. We want to be able to go back to the video and reference that um, and be able to pinpoint it exactly instead of guessing. So we'll typically do one scan at rough and then we'll do one scan at the end of the home. This way we can give the homeowners a picture of the house all done. We know how we gave it to them. There are no fights on damage after move in and all that good stuff. It's a great service. Uh, Jeremy will tell you more about it, but. I'm Jeremy, I'm with Foresight Construction <coughs> Documentation. I have the Matterport Pro 3 camera with me today. It's their latest camera. This is powered by LiDAR. So basically the way this camera works is that it spins around in 360 degrees. It takes pictures, 4K pictures, but while it's taking pictures, it's painting every surface with the LiDAR. So it's sending and receiving that light data. It uses that LiDAR light data to then render a 3D model that it then overlays those 4K pictures. So you basically get an as-built model that's shot with a laser that's internally dimensionable inside the model. So that means if for some reason a uh, sprinkler head gets buried or a wire whip gets buried, it's really easy to go into the model, pull a quick dimension in the model, and then pull a tape in the physical space and find what you need to find behind the walls. Yes. And, and Jeremy will probably speak to this. He has a spectrum of different customers, but uh, we're starting to use it more and more with builders just to make sure that their butt's covered. Um, again, just to make sure we can find stuff when we need it. A lot easier than really opening up an eight by eight patch in a wall and guessing where the electrical is. You can reference right back to your Matterport scan and see exactly where that whip is every time you need it. So it's, it's, it's a great feature to have. It's a great service to use. Yeah, and the, the technology is really amazing, I feel like, especially for builders because it gives you, it gives you an as-built record of the project like the day it was scanned. Yep. So if you need it you know, right towards the end, um, instead of having to go back to your point and swish cheese the wall or guess yeah. where that outlet got hidden or where that sprinkler head got hidden, yeah. um, it's really easy to find inside the model. Yeah, and I, and I think a lot of builders can attest to this. Um, on the last home I did, we had some, um, some electrical that was buried and I was able to go in, you know, multiple spots, uh, whether it be drywall guys, whether we did it on purpose, but was able to reference back to the video and pinpoint every single location I needed and we were able to put in just a three inch hole, grab the whip, and there was no other additional drywall work needed. And obviously as a builder, you know that saving money is, is what we're all hoping to do. So we didn't have to, we didn't have to do a huge damage area and then uh, patch it all back with drywall and paint. We were able to just cut in with a hole saw, grab the whip, put it in a box and be done. Yeah, Matterport's just a really cool technology. So they're basically, they have several different levels of cameras um, but their pro cameras do a couple of things. So they're basically sending and receiving light data while they're taking pictures. The cameras use that light data to compile a 3D mesh that then the pictures it takes are then snapped to. So basically what you get is you get a 3D rendered model of whatever space you scan. So it could be a house at roughing like we're at today. It could be a house at finish, just because you want to make sure that, you know, you can show that everything was installed correctly. Um, if you've got any insurance claims or anything like that, you've got a date and a time stamp on that model that you can use to say, look, these, these things were installed correctly. You can see it here. Um, but there's a bunch of other applications for it as well. I mean, there's a, the residential real estate market uses it for tours because it really gives you the ability to walk through any space, finished or unfinished, almost like you're there that the day that the scan happened. Because you can pan all over the skin. You can look down at the floor, you can look up at the ceilings. It really gives you 
an immersive 3D walkthrough that you can't get with 2D pictures. I grew up in construction. My when Korea Paul was a developer, my dad has been a frame carpenter my whole life. My brother builds houses for a living. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm 45. I went to grad school because I thought I was gonna not be in construction. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I've basically been in and out of construction my whole life. And I've been involved in some really amazing pro projects like all over Colorado, Aspen, Vail. Um, but working with Aft, the I'm always really, really impressed from framing all the way to finish how clean and just how amazing the properties end up looking. It's there's some level of quality to these products and projects that I don't that I don't see in a lot of other builders. And it was just a really great crew of people to work with as well. Everybody's super friendly. Everybody's very professional. The warranty and insurance plans, right? from a builder standpoint, um, we obviously don't want the major issues or minor issues for that matter when we close a house, but if there's ever anything that's, you know, a water leak or something's missing and, and trades don't quite want to, you know, take the blame for it or, you know, we're not sure who left what out, it's, it's nice to be able to resort back to the Matterport and just kind of you know, piece everything together and see what maybe could be missing or, or, or find a new plan to get it resolved, right? So it's great on the builder side to just be able to have that picture of when nothing else was in the house but the rough ends to see exactly what was missing or what, you know, whether the text line could hit a nail or anything good like that. If I say, hey, we're gonna put the electrical box right here, right? And things shift an inch. I've got three lights to move. I've got all the drywall to do, all the paint to do. If I just use the tool that you're creating for me, leave the whips where I know about where they are, resort back to the footage, I can do a wholesale cut right there and grab the whip and put in, you know, put the light exactly where I want it. So yeah. it's, that was a really, you know, I don't, I don't just use it for, you know, bad things. It, it's, you know, it's nice to use it on purpose. Yeah, the pre to get the lights exactly where I want to get them without any damage to the walls. Yeah, I would never have thought of that application, but was a great, what a great use of the technology to be able to leave the whip, you know, you can come back to it and then get that light put right where you need it to be. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic to use it on purpose. Jeremy and I would like to thank you for joining us today on our, our Matterport edition at SM Gilbert Traditional. Um, hoping that you'll follow along as we we use the Matterport throughout the build, especially when it comes to adding all of our lights and, and just diagnosing any issues that may, may arise. But um, we'll touch back towards the end of the project and show you how we used it to get all of our art lights in place, um, all of the sconce lighting exactly where we want it, and you know, and all the lights in the bathrooms as well, because those cabinets can shift a little bit. Uh, mirrors can be off center a little bit, and instead of doing all the drywall and all that good stuff, I'll just cut them in exactly to the cabinets and we'll uh, we'll hit these designs, you know, perfectly on point. So again, Ryan with AFT, superintendent over here, uh, thank you for joining us today and hope you follow along.